So in the previous session, we have discussed about the various uh, built-in functions or built-in methods in list and now let us have a look on built-in functions in math module. That means predefined mathematical functions available in Python. So there are a uh, number of predefined mathematical functions available in Python. So in order to use these predefined functions, the first and foremost thing we have to do is we have to import this math module into our Python script. So for this we have to import math. Right? So up, Unless you import this math, you will get an error. That means we can't use these predefined functions in our Python script. Right? So let us discuss a few mathematical functions available in Python. So first one is seal function. Seal function. Right? So as we know, the flooring and ceiling. So if there is any variable, I mean if there is any value, so what is the seal of that particular value and what is the floor of that particular value? See. So let me explain one, once again. Seal of 4.3. Floor of 4.3. Right? So what is the value of 4.3 seal? That is 5. Floor value is 4. Right? So avoiding the fractional part. So how to avoid this fractional part? So ceiling, seal function, seal function means just remember ceiling, ceiling will be on upside. So the upper number we have to get the result. Right? Floor, floor means flooring which will be at the down. So the least lowest number we have to consider. The upper number we have to consider, the lower number we have to consider. So it will return 5 if you apply seal function for 4.3 and you will get a 4 if you apply floor function for 4.3. So first one is seal x. So that means we will get the upper value. So avoiding the fractional part just give the upper value. So in order to implement this seal function first of all we have to import math and then we have to write math dot seal of x. So simply writing seal of x will not work, right? So you have to include the package name math dot seal of x. So if x is equal to 4.3, this will return 5 as a result, right? Next. Similarly, floor function floor of x. Similarly for this function also, so all the predefined mathematical functions should use this mathematical, I mean math package. And before that we have to import this math package in our python script. So floor function, for implementing this we have to write math dot floor of x. So if x is equal to 4.3 we will get 4 as a result because of floor that means we have to consider the lower value by eliminating the fractional part right next f mod x comma y so this will give the mod operation mod operation and get the remainder after x by y after performing x by y x divided by y and the remainder will be taken as a result so for example see i will write here so for implementation of this again we have to use math dot f mod x comma y let us take x comma y as some 10 comma 3 
10 comma 3. So what is what will be the answer now? Let us check. So it will return it will return the remainder after performing s divided by y. So 10 divided by 3. What is the remainder? 1 will be the remainder. So 3 3 is 9. So 1 will be the remainder. So 1 will be the answer. And see here x mod y is equal to x when x is less than y. So this is very important. And x mod y is equal to remainder. Reminder of x divided by y when x is greater than y. So this is also very important. These two. In order to uh, get the value, get the result. So this is the thing. Now, so this will, this will return 1 as a result. Now, let us see one more function. Let us see one more function. So that is exponent of x so this will return e power x exponential value right so in order to implement this we have to write the math dot exponent of x right then next similar to this one we had a factorial also right factorial of x so we, we need not write any code for finding the factorial just by implementing this built-in function we can get the factorial of given number right so if you want to get the phi factorial simply we can write math dot factorial of phi it will return directly the result of phi factorial which is 1.2 right next similarly square root sqrt of x so directly we can get this sqrt so similar to in our c language see in c language also we had uh, this function sqrt so there also we in order to implement this we have to include the math.h header file similarly here we have to import math package so you know, if we want to use this sqrt we have to represent as math dot sqrt of 4 which will give 2 so square root of 4 which is written 2 right next power function power function power of x comma y so it will give x power y it will return x power y the result of x power y so math dot power of x comma y that means let us take 2 let us take 4 so this will return the result as 2 power 4 that means 16 right so this power function okay so these are the few built-in mathematical functions available in our python programming hope you understood this simple uh, mathematical functions Right. So, uh, apart from this, we are also having some mathematical constants. So, we are having a two mathematical constants in our Python program. Mathematical constants. So in order to execute these mathematical constants also we have to import a math package. So for this also we have to use import math. So two mathematical constants that is pi, one other one is exponent. So in order to get this pi we have to use math dot pi. Automatically it will give the value of pi. And in order to use this exponent in the expressions we have to use math dot e automatically we can get the exponent value of uh, i mean exponent ex, the con, exponent constant right so which is right these are the constants simply math dot pi and math dot 
e so these constants can be directly used in our expressions while you uh, i mean in python programming so hope you understood only two constants that is pi and e exponent so whatever it may be if it is a mathematical uh, function or a constant we are uh, supposed to use this import math and while implementing this we have to use this math as a suffix to that particular function or a constant right so hope you understood this one uh, let us stop here so if you really understood my videos like my videos share my videos with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, python programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much